Welcome back. Why I Don't Compute by Roger Rosenblatt. This is dedicated to my grandson. On my 80th birthday, my children, my family, gave me an iPad. I don't even touch a mouse. I know I'm totally illiterate. My husband is a computer nerd, has websites, and he does everything, but not me. And this is the reason why. A stick with a small ball that dispenses ink. That's an invention. It says something that I have, it says something that I have been able to survive the past 15 years without using a word processor. Now this article was written in 1998, so it's a little dated. It would be a little different if it was written in 2013. Forbearing editors have been willing to enter my typewritten pieces into systems for me. Other than that kind con accommodation, I have had no contact with that so-called invention for which people like Steve Gates and Steve Jobs and Bill Gates have claimed evangelical powers. In my line of work, I could not get along a day without the telephone, TV, radio, automobile, and fax. But I shall happily live out my days computer free. Fact is, I think that Jobs and Gates and all the other cyberspace billionaires have bamboozled the world. Not only in computers, slower, not only is a computer slower than a typewriter, in the long run, its research function is also faulty. And worst of all, it encourages a society of increasing isolation, though it claims the opposite. What the computer has done is to make a few clever fellows rich. Slower than a typewriter? Yes. Even slower than a big ball pen, pen, ballpoint pen, my principal machine, because a word processor, what a name, facilitates bad writing by way of fast and cr easy corrections. When something is wrong with a piece, it is usually all wrong. A writer needs to start with from scratch, not to transpose paragraph 19 for 36, Writers need writing to be difficult. An honest writer looking at a screen full of patched copy will begin again. He would have gone faster if he'd gone slower. The research function, faulty and inadequate, of course it is. People use Nexus, Lexus, Sexus is to look up all sorts of things. And they think they're doing research. But re real research requires happy accidents. A computer offers nowhere near the same capacity for serpentinity, serpentinity that a stroll through the stacks of, of a library offers. It also suggests that we always know what we want to learn. What happens to the meandering dream state necessary for learning? Computers turn dream states into theme packs. As for encouraging increasing isolation, that, that's self-evident. I grew up in a world in which the declared enemy of the human mind was mechanization. Science fiction would routinely scare you silly by presenting people becoming machines, or people would be warned of losing control to machines. Computer salesmen want us to join machines, not to beat them. But the deeper isolations occur within those very functions of computer life that hackers praise most lavishly. Take a trip on the internet. 
and link up with people exactly like yourself. The emerging technologies are simply imposing a new class system on the existing ones. Their overarching context is the ability to use computers at all. If everyone has one, theoretically everyone belongs to the same class. But within that class lie thousands of subclasses, from chess players to militia members to nuts of every stripe. What is gained if everybody still hangs out with his or her own kind? Information, the god of these gizmos, is not only a poor form of learning, it's the dumbest form of communication. Give me a good face-to-face -face conversation anytime, or a bad one. And even good communication should not be confused with sympathetic social existence. There's still a difference between talking and living. <coughs> a magazine once gave me a PC to try to lure me into modern America. I used it as a planter. Don't compare these things with real inventions. A stick with a small ball at one end that dispenses ink from a plastic tube, that's an adventure. This is written by Rosen Blastenfeld. For time, uh, I don't know, new, for new hours with Luther Lerner.